We're primarily focused on drug delivery for treating musculoskeletal diseases such as osteoarthritis and low back pain. Um, the challenge in our field is that uh, intra-tissue delivery uh, and retention of drugs uh, is very challenging because of the high negative fixed charge density that is present in tissues such as cartilage and intravertebral discs. So our lab is dedicated towards engineering uh, disease modifying OA drugs uh, for uh, enhancing the intra-tissue uptake, retention, uh, and transport of positively charged carriers and conjugating them with drugs. So we can use uh, equipment like this, which is uh, what we call a transport chamber, where we can basically sandwich a piece of cartilage tissue or an intervertebral disc in the middle, and then we can fluorescently tag our drugs or our drug protein conjugates uh, and watch how uh, they diffuse through from upstream to the downstream chamber uh, by fluorescently tagging those proteins and reading uh, real-time fluorescent measurements. Wow, Once, that sounds fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah, what's that machine right there? So this is a binding machine. So this is to make sure that any of our positively charged carriers and drugs that we conjugate together, whether they're still active once we create that chemical con uh, conjugation. So uh, do the drugs still bind as well to their cellular receptors once they get inside the body? Or um, how well our positively charged carriers can bind with the negatively charged tissue matrix components like aggregates and cartilage? We're looking to treat um, diseases like osteoarthritis and, and low back pain. So uh, as I mentioned, that the challenge is creating a long-term retention system that can uh, have a lot of long-lasting therapeutic effect because a lot of the drugs that are injected, whether it's into the knee for treating osteoarthritis or into the back for low back pain, um, they get cleared out very quickly. And so the goal here is to create a, a drug that you can uh, modify with a positively charged protein and keep it within your body for a long period of time to enable a sustained release of, of drug for, uh, for a long period of time. So this is a DMA or dynamic mechanical analyzer and what it's used for in our lab is for assessing the uh, modulus of tissues such as cartilage or intervertebral discs um, and what we basically do is we take a small piece of our sample put it in this little well here fill it with a little bit of liquid and then we can place it right back on here uh, screw it in and then we can set different parameters of stress and strain to see uh, how stiff or how um, less stiff our tissues are um, by performing mechanical testing. I'd say the best thing about it is kind of the open and collaborative nature of the, of the department. I think students in here are very um, happy and passionate about their research and they're very willing to share their um, experiences and what they're working on with you. It helps you learn a lot. Uh, and yeah, you can also, it's very easy to connect with people on a personal level as well, you know, as friends uh, with other people in the lab. So uh, I think that's the best part about working in, in this department.